Oh, hi. All right. For those that don't know who I am, my name is Tyler Lord Hamilton. And people have been asking me, okay, is this the Rev, this pastor, this ministerial, this globinary grandizement of how wonderful you are as a gay man or a gay militant activist, social scientist, entertainer, singer, a lot of different stuff. <clears throat> Hi. And um, I'm not going to be babbling about this, but all these different moving parts that we all have in our personalities uh, can be honored. All right. So in the gay man valuing himself and not hating his life and not uh, resulting to you know thoughts of committing suicide, we want men to know that uh, gay sex for them does have a sacred spirituality. And in that spirituality is your sacred uh, sexuality. So in the same way, the sexuality in itself has its own sacred spirituality. Because you are merging two souls with one another, whether it be a hookup, stranger, a twink, a ginger boy, somebody that is on a Harley, uh, a cub, a bear. The stereotypes go on and on and on in the LGBTQ, Q for questioning culture, LGBT, lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, Q for questioning. Social justice, education prevalence, and democracy promotion without force. For men, doing what is fair in society, social justice. Understanding the love and counselor of law, which I'm going to help you with, because I'm a social scientist, psychologist, do motivational accountability, life coaching, and counseling alternatives. I'm a non-licensed psychologist in California, but the practice is the giant balloon to help men come off of crystal meth. But in this, you know, counseling alternatives that I offer, um, men become aware awake, is what I explain it as. And they understand their role in cock and culture and how music and entertainment and movies may often very well change the way we are headed you know as a global impact of what the powers that be your sweet destiny before you transcend from here, because you're transcendental, you're going to know that you have all the blessings right here in your heart through your breath. And you can forgive absolutely what you need to forgive because of the bullying, being bullied, because you fell as a man, because you went toward substance abuse, you got off of your path, and now art, for some reason, is becoming really valuable for you. I'm a painter, I'm a sketcher, a makeup artist. I do shock rock, uh, dark humor, uh, physical comedy, uh, non-apologetic comedy. Comedian doesn't have to apologize. Joan Rivers. I sing, I act, I model. I have uh, political activism. I also have work that's very humanitarian and ministry and into politics. Because the goal is to see men in power with money hard-ons, and what? Not doing what is right. Doing what is right when nobody's looking is an integrity. People want integrity, they want dignity. They've had all their sex that they ever can want. And they're looking for a spiritual center. So, I'm creating, come as you are, no perfect people allowed, 
the New World Christ Church for the unchurched, all right? Now, it's kind of like the Church of Out, Open Minds. It's kind of like the place where Tom Cruise can come out and say, hey, he has a religious calling. He wants to create his own religion. We're going to help him do that if he wishes to do that. Open minds, open hearts, open doors, and one may say open legs. For consensual adults of age, thank you very much. A lot of this is a horny group of men that find it is a meat market if you're doing anything with Tyler Lord Hamilton. It's a modern day mental illness, right? And uh, shock rock and painting and sketching and writing literature and being a lyricist and a singer like myself. This is social justice prevalence using the arts, using fashion. These are your political beat, your beasts. Pardon me, I have to put in my dentures just a second, please. <laughs> By looking at how you could make people laugh in the democracy promotion and in the settlement of one world, one heart. For anybody that wants to come out of the closet, it's the Church of Cock. It's a signature Tyler Hamilton church. It's a place of accepting yourself. It doesn't have to be a rich man's club. You don't get saved the more you pay. In fact, we don't even discuss money. Unless we're talking about your finances and paying down your credit cards. We don't ask for money. It's called the New World Christ Church. Now, for many atheists and agnostics in the gay community, this is your church. Satanists, Mormons, Muslims, whatever. Christians, I don't care. If there is a God, lesbian, gay, bisexual, if there is a God of creation creating love, and that is perfect, so what's created from a creator, it would only be love because the creator is all loving and giving to create a perfect humanity, then why is there guilt? Why is there the tale, the folklore of Adam and Eve, the original sin? Because of sin? No. Leaving God? No. No sin would ever enter the thought of man or yourself right now when the hearing man yourself is intelligent and you hear and listen as a complete soul at birth and through the experiences of life well now all through living things you are absolutely humble because of the grace and the mercy and the new day like this is not the place where guilt would ever exist because you are connected with God because of your heart an existentialist what you feel over there you feel the vibration over here. What you send out into the universe, you're sending it out to a global energy of cosmos and you feel responsible. Whether you have a Republican or Democrat and president, you feel responsible because you're a patriot, you're a nationalist. Same thing with the global human family and using technology for good things. Maybe to put in my dinner so I could speak. <laughs> Men are dissatisfied. And they're angry and they're disgusted in themselves for being successful losers and not improving their shit. Not that they're looking at, through the status markers of your Mercedes are going to gain love. But improving the shithole in their minds by thinking poor, though they are baroque, Maybe they're not broke, but they think poor because they have a problem with cocaine, whatever the vice, or lying. When you had the help services all along, now you want to end heartache by telling your story and not speaking so others will feel misunderstood. Ending the heartache by telling your story and not speaking so others will not feel misunderstood, disconnected. So they can live their lives with the lessons through you on how you ended your self-hate. That's what's up. What's up with you? I hope you're chilling. At the New World Christ Church, it's based on social justice, prevalence, and democracy promotion without force through all men. 
Men K Men Men no men M K M Men that know men Men that want to know men Are members of the New World Christ Church This could be gay Transsexual it Could be anything in the LGBT community Essentially it's girly boys and sissies misunderstood Along the side of twinks and ginger boys Men that want to leave their lives of prostitution and whoredom in cities like West Hollywood, London, Berlin, other places where there's gay mecca. So, you ask, is there a God of creation? Is there love? You know the answer. We do not have to be happy. That is up to us. And now you know how to pray, because maybe you're desperate, you've lost family, you've lost a lover, you've lost employment and your talents can't get you a job because there's no industry for you. Clean out the gut then. As Friedrich Nietzsche says, and we say this all through the Come As You Are No Perfect People Allowed New World Christ Church, Reverend Tyler, Lord Hamilton, Pastor Tyler, what have you, is you increase your quality of water and what you drink and you look at your strict interventive nutrition routines because you clean out the gut then you're able to think differently no not all lesbians eat cat food and we have to demise them but they might like tang instead they might just decide the more tangy and sour men may taste they may want to choose a different gender or a different sex. The New World Christ Church also accepts bi and bi curious, bi questioning, and those that are heterosexual that are being willing to start thinking that maybe they could be bi questioning one time in their life through a retreat of leaving religion and other status markers that Hollywood portrays. At the New World Christ Church, we function with people coming out of the closet. Because as the Bible says, there's nothing new under the sun. So that means you and your underpants. <laughs> the joke may remain vulgar. But at the end of the day, there's grace and mercy. And we're able to always understand that the mind naturally makes sense out of things. On no effort on our own. Just as the digestive system works and the liver and the body is cleaned out. And you keep strong, strong kidneys. Then what happens is you understand the dichotomy of yourself. The good and the bad is because you have good, because now you see thinking patterns when we travel in between good and bad. Dark, light. To see both of your sides. So you can engage with your shadow according to according pardon me. To put in my dentures, I can't speak. <laughs> Thank you for my dentures. According to Carl Jung, we ha all have in ourselves the shadow of the soul, the night, the grieving, the coming to terms with you not having been out about anything that you want to discuss. It doesn't have to be bell nuts of the big ball. It could be just a confession that you want to make through YouTube. We're here to help facilitate that for you. Friedrich Nietzsche, the philosopher, says, Stand at the abyss and cast all prior knowledge. Tyler Hamilton, further, Just get yourself at the edge of the rock. Throw everything that you know, your backpack down, except keep yourself standing there and look down and tell me what you see with nothing in your hands. You're still going to see your things. You're still going to have memory and remember things. So, what Carl Jung says is that you're going to always have memories and things you can't forget because of your shadow. Carl Jung is a Swiss psychiatrist and psychotherapist that took after um, other different callings in his work, writing and things like this. So, we were born to serve, not to be walked over by Christians that surely are Christians, but they're 10 miles behind. That gynecologist is my gynecologist, 
because he checks us girly boys and sissies out. If you have the money, you can have anything you want based on whatever gender you believe you are today. The Christian New World Christ Church is a makeover. It's It's where it doesn't make you afraid to live, and it doesn't make you to be afraid of being godlike, because people might think you're arrogant. It, therefore, is the judgment, but it doesn't make you insecure or afraid of Judgment Day. This is the new Christian that says that we failed this last generation because we treated the black people like modern uh, whores sex slaves to our racist god and modern niggers so lucifer has a hot body and is muscular and he shoots fire shots of fire red nuclear cum up people's asses that's not your business i don't care to know that hello everyone jesus told me he loves me but this I know. Is that enough proof for you that I'm not going to hell because I'm a gay man or I have a certain lifestyle? I come out of the closet because it's the church, the new world, Christ church of the new Christ mind. Because now I'm not going to be a sucking cock over this. Men, you don't have to cheat yourself on living your bliss doing your prerogative, being independent, and leaving all institution, even religion, at New World Christ Church. It's more of just an offshoot segue from our social alchemy project, which is an anti-corruption and human greed disabler. But when I am in the mood to lecture, I never preach, I lecture and I give talks, and I stamp New World Christ Church, it means I'm taking more of a socio-spiritual perspective because my work is being an independent research social scientist, psychologist, and life coach with a private practice to help people, as well as an entertainer and a performance artist, and many different things. My point is that don't cheat yourself, because listen, Jesus, the word, ching! Jesus, on Sunday morning, say it, Jesus, ching! Jesus is its own casino, okay? And Jesus makes a lot of money on Sunday mornings. And you know what? Jesus never sees the money. Jesus is still broke and homeless, let's say, the man of Nazareth. So I'm not talking New World Christ Church. And I'm not talking Scientology. Saying we're a church when we're not really a church. It's a church of the inner self. The inner temple, the self of you as a man, it's a masculinist church, it's a church only for men, basically I've been all-encompassing for LGBT and different types of men, but it's a church for men that are sure that they are Christians and they know that there is a good day and a bad day. There's a Mother Teresa in them and there's an Adolf Hitler in them. They have choices to make. And this is the social behavioral sciences and the mind and social cognition and a lot of social psychology used in social sciences and statistical database on knowing what demographics and human population needs to be participating as human participants in a survey, a qualitative method. But you're sure you're Christians, but you're 10 miles behind Jesus. So go ahead and judge people for saying that they're okay being homosexual themselves because Jesus says they love them. And still they're being condemned. This is why at Social Alchemy Project and you know through the project and the work that I'm doing at Social Alchemy Project comes a church. It's that during the shock rock and the penis rock and the cock and culture theory and the cultural mediocrity theory and the different theoretical perspectives I take for you to understand men in culture to digest so people can swallow and not spit it out or choke. That's the shock rock, okay? It's it's good for everybody and and that makes someone that has been through something as someone that can be trusted. 
right people. Remember, the runaway and remaining topic for people that make a cottage industry out of this is the topic of fathers to sons. Get over your political leaders and needing a role model. You be the role model, not Tyler Hamilton. That's what they've been producing in Hollywood, but that's that. You see, the topic of masculinity is a very intimate topic because of money, sex, religion, and power, and, you know, jacking off and doing what you want that insults people and only adds residual insult to an injury. It's just keeping damaged people to keep damaged people damaged when they are the king of the stage because they are a man and they're tired of being willing to be wrong for women. They want to know that men can be right and more men are looking at what they could taste on the side of gay culture, gay community, but on the non-scene. Men that are doing what they do may want to rethink their distractions for their successes. I'm not saying what the Bible says is wrong, but it says that everything is permissible, but not everything is beneficial. Basically, whatever someone says is a sin, you're still under grace, right? So give yourself a break. Get rid of the gay shame that's so crippling, according to Ricky Martin. You know, when they are defeated, however, they come to Social Alchemy Project, and if it's a spiritual-based uh, predicament, I then refer them to the New World Christ Church playlist on Social Alchemy Project because everything is owned by Social Alchemy Project, Social Transformation, Social Alchemy Project Access Management, where you can manage and access what you've done in your treatment plan with alchemy being your own alchemist. But there's also a private practice, the giant balloon, and that's to help people get off of crystal meth in the gay community. So how do you deal with broken dreams after meth or after lying to your spouse or your children about really digging guys? And, you know, well, you work ten times harder is what you do, gentlemen. When nobody loves you for having hit bottom, what do you do? You live on because what? Psychology. The body, the psyche, all of it is very resilient and things compensate. Just remember, guys, because I'm talking to guys, all older men in Palm Springs or Palm Beach or Providence, Rhode Island, or wherever you are, London. Just remember, guys, there is a day in and when your future will be where you will do not care to hate your life anymore by doing party and play, P and P, whatever. So go cross-dressing. I mean, men, fatal femme, and find your lover. The final things I want to say in this tutorial or info session on New World Christ Church is that it is time to begin being wonderful via connection that you have with your heart, your mind, and men through your Christ and pure mind and heart. So through this, the dynamic is that now you've started doing good to gaymanity, which is I've called the gayological vantage point of gay humanities, with men who know men, M-K-M, men who know men, M-W-K-M, Men knowing men, men who know men, whatever. From my theoretical conclusions. It's now like ending STDs with the highest in LA. No wonder we're in Beverly Hills trying to set this up for West Hollywood. And now having a spiritual standard and a practice where you're at this place in your soul where you're not afraid 
to be a servant or a point leader. I'm not talking about sucking cog. Point. Focused. Centered thinking. Learned centered thinking. Service to your academic leaders. You become role model to your other students and your pupils and your colleagues. And you're in public office, who knows? Because now you're a celebrity and you have Hollywood cohorts. And you own your home in Palm Springs with the older men. Remember that we keep talking about the New World Christ Church. Thank you, gentlemen, for helping get this going. But see, men, if you haven't been other... Oh, they're putting my dentures, I can't speak. <laughs> men, if you have not been in another boy's shoes when you were at that young man's age, and he's now called a twink because it's cream-filled Twinkie, right? The dessert. It's basically street food, if you ask. Social Academy Project. Because we aren't to pure the mind and the heart through nutrition. There's good karma nutrition and bad karma nutrition, okay? Just be very Hindu. Study Hinduism and come back to me. But we're giving our twinks and our ginger boys derogatory terminology, and we haven't lived in their time of technology ever before. Things are different today. Real estate is harder to access, so they're looking for a man that they can break into, past the eyes, break into through the eyes, to the heart, through escorting and massaging older men because of now prostitution and meth and giving you party drugs, to PNP, party and play, and being one of the greatest in Los Angeles because you get nice dinners with all the convenient slut perks. The pay is good. And we are in a great position as men to love them. Your sugar daddy, your lady boy, your house boy, your cowboy, your rent boy, fantasy, whatever. Go molest your own family member with your own thinking. I don't know. I'm just talking to you about the need for spirituality, the need for a focus to go within your breath, men, and not be heavy-hearted if you haven't found your love or your money trail or the spending and the luxurious living that you want to do. Tyler, Lord Hamilton cannot afford just every go-go dancer to get him out of prostitution, we ho. I say nothing bad about the Abby or Mickeys. I'm talking just in the area, right? But we ho, West Hollywood, Tinseltown, you don't have to be perfect. It's okay that you feel like you're scum of the earth, and we can create art, and we can create comedic relief, and we can do all the right things that mean Keep a pink heart, because that is the color of the New World Christ Church. Pink is the heart of Tyler Lord Hamilton. Ciao.